Good morning! It's a little... Is it morning still? Hi. Greg Trico coming at you today. Taking over the Hamilcast. Instagram story. Let's have a fun day. So, my name is Gregory Trico. I'm the standby for Burr and Washington and Lafayette on Broadway. I want to say thank you to my friends Bianca and Jillian for letting me take over their spot today. Let's have some fun. Okay. So this is what my office looks like. My husband. Look at how cute he is. Floyd Collins. We got a lot of stuff going in. Slut the Musical, Civil War, Peter and the Starcatcher, Taboo, and Silence the Musical, Miracle Brothers. So many things. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, you were not confused when you saw this. Two Tony nominations on our walls. My husband is a badass. Tony nominee, Rich Affinato. Get it. So what makes today special is that it's Monday, but we have a show because of the holiday. So you're going to hang out with me today, and um, we're going to do a Monday Hamilton and American musical, which is very rare. Stay tuned. I'm going to take a shower. So I'm going to let you in a little secret. So as you see my beer, it is blonde and brown and black and red and gray and sandy. And so what I do to keep it show ready is I dye it one color. So before and after here. And what also makes this really funny is because I have a fan account that's called Trico's Beard. So Trico's Beard, you're going to get <laughs> everything you need today in this Instagram story. Follow the Hamilcast. And just like that, we have a freshly dyed beard, but here's the kicker. I just called my barber, who shapes this up and gets it together, and he's like, it's my day off today. And I'm like, what am I doing with this face then? Okay, so I'm going to take a moment, and I am going to charge my phone, because it's almost dead already. And I've only taken over for like 35 seconds. So, let me figure out this beard drama, and I'll see you in a second. I'm back. Lights up on Washington Heights up at the break of... No. Craig Trico here. Welcome back. Had some business to take care of and now I'm back to you. I have a big day planned. Not big, but like stuff. Here's a quick rundown. I'm running downtown trying not to get hit by this car. Uh, I'm running downtown to get a massage real quick, which is what I do after I do Burr, which I did Saturday. So my body's not broken down. Then we have the Constitutional Convention on stage today at 6. Yeah! Now, for those of you not in the know, the Constitutional Convention is where we check in with each other. Hamilton on Broadway. All the company members get together at the beginning of the week, so we're on the same page, get a few notes, warm up together, get a few dance notes, so we're like, for the week. And lastly, I will keep you abreast about the ins and outs. And the ins and outs text message that all of us standbys and swings get to let us know who's on for the night. So I still always am waiting to hear if I'm on for a burr or Washington or Lafayette. So we will see. Stay tuned. And another thing. I'm in the subway. We all know what I do in the subway. You gotta prepare like you're going on. So when this train comes screaming by, I will be in full belt. What song should I sing? Well, it's gonna happen in 10 seconds. Beautiful day in a neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor, won't you be mine? West Forth, won't you be mine? West Forth, about to get that massage, get it right. So I'm waiting for my appointment, but um, first of all, we didn't address the beer drama. I decided, you know, I'm not gonna get it cut because the guy wasn't there and I didn't want him, my face to be screwed up. That's the end of the beer drama, it's just gonna be what it is. Pure trash. Hey. All right, take over time. This is where it starts to get interesting. I'm gonna go grab food, and then I'm gonna start my jaunt to the theater. Where am I? Ah, oh, 51st. Interesting enough, my massage guy turned me upside down, over, backwards, stabbed me in the back with his elbow, got my back correct. So I would tell you his name, but I don't want any of you to find out who he is, because he's mine. So guys, this is a Hamilton Con Con. You're a grand old fan. Robert. 
look at these two beautiful Aussies. It's a video. <laughs> they went to high school together. It's not a picture. Look at this gorgeous man right here. Look at how gorgeous this George Washington is. I'm here for this entire takeover. I'm having the time of my life. I've got a purple spot on my head. I mean, this is just the greatest day ever. I hope. Oh, the verdict. I'm not on tonight. I forgot to tell you, I'm not on tonight. Brandon's here. Somewhere. He's here though. Man, I can tell him. <laughs> Turntable realness. Oh, Thane. Look at these beautiful women tossing hair and scarves and that beautiful woman in the back. <laughs> Work. Another little tidbit, this is where we get our coffee next door, Corso. The entire cast, we get our trinkets, our food, our desserts. It's got an A star, everybody go to Corso. It's the bomb digs. So the show's about to start, but this is where I go to rehearse. I sit outside, I can hear the music a little bit. Or I talk on the phone right there. One of these hidden Hamilton spots in the alleyway. This place is about to be turned on fire. So we're deciding how to how what how the shelf should be. Right. You can't well, the, the lighting looks looks gorgeous. Titties on the shelf. Stem. What is this for? The Hamel cast. Oh, love you. The hustle and bustle of the theater. Oh, there's on my lift, and there's my lift. So y'all, my takeover time is coming to an end. I want to thank the Hamel cast for being so awesome. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you, Jillian, my love. Almost tripped. Thank you. I am going to see some friends that are in town on this beautiful night, and so I will bid you adieu. I'm standing in front of one of the most beautiful things ever, of course. I'm at Lincoln Center, and... On that note, thank you guys. Love you guys. Follow me at Trico27, at T-R-E-C-O 27. Hope you guys have a great night. Come and see us down at the Hamilton, an American musical, Richard Rogers Theater. Love and peace.